Good morning and welcome to the first video. We are out here working away. I have some of the managers over here taking a doing their little daily mornings. Going over here to check out our water truck drivers. Make sure they're doing okay. They are doing their morning checks. My name is Donovan and I work for Dig Deep, which is a nonprofit organization based in California. But we are here in Chanto, Arizona. And we work on putting in home water systems for off-grid homes. And I am doing these little short videos, hopefully to get give homeowners a better idea of how to do a water system for their off-grid homes. So hopefully it gives you a little bit of an idea how to do it. This is kind of like a DIY, a do-it-yourself, but as you can see here we got some of the guys checking them out. Got a little bit of battery issue right now. Uh, they're going to be heading out to do some water hauls out to Navajo Mountain, Shanto, and a place called Paiute Mesa. Right here we've got our really, really cool looking water truck. This thing's a 6x6. Six six. You have a nice two wheels right here. And the front wheel drive. The only thing that I don't like about this thing is it's really, really rough driving. So if you're on a really rough road, it just bounces everywhere. There's like no suspension in the back, so it's not the best. Front has a little bit of a spring dampener, but that's about it. But it's the only one that can get from point A to point B with little to no hiccup. So if it was to ever get stuck, it'll get itself out. Tires are super hard on this thing, so that's the other thing that's kind of a downfall. And this is our our, uh, our other water truck. It's a lot nicer. It has suspension, has airbags in the back. The driver has a lot more things to offer on there. You got radio. It, uh, it drives a lot smoother. The only thing is, it's only rear wheel drive. So front wheel drive, not the best. Uh, it gets stuck in sand, so all the deep sand, it just just gets buried and gets stuck in there. Got Steven driving around. He's going to head out to the description house to start loading up on his water. Give Steven a little wave. There he goes, driving away. Got Howard right here walking away. He's getting ready to jump in on the big yellow water truck. He's supporting our cool Navajo water project shirt. We got everything loading up. Today we are doing a little bit of service calls. Next videos I will start doing our little installs. And uh, going down the road I will start doing little introductions of the whole team. It's getting kind of big. But right now we have our project manager and our assistant inside of the office working. So if you're wondering what and who Dig Deep is, Dig Deep is a nonprofit organization based in California and I work under the Navajo Water Project, NWP, and we work here on the Navajo Nation. Our team is Navajo Mountain Team. We have another one in Dilcon, Arizona. They are the Dilcon team. And then the original OG ones is in Theroux, New Mexico. That's our Theroux team. 
they've been doing this a lot longer than I have and we started this site about coming up on three years I think it was. Dig Deep is a nonprofit. We try and put in home water systems, clean drinking water into people's homes, you know, who don't have access to running water or will never see running water into their homes. So that's what we do. We try and bridge and cut that gap down so every house can have clean drinking water because everybody needs clean drinking water. So with the purpose of these videos and this little channel, the site on YouTube, I am hoping that I can give an idea for certain people around Navajo Nation who might know their aunts, their grandpas, their grandmas, maybe their brothers or sisters that live off grid and there's no chance that they're going to get a water line to their house. This will kind of give you an idea of how to do this because a lot of the stuff that we do is very simple and these tools are not very complicated. You can find all of these parts and tools either at a Home Depot, Ace, Online, Amazon carries a lot of this stuff. So it'll be like kind of like a DIY. I will cut them all into like little bits so it's not like one huge video is going to be nothing but an install at a house. I'll cut them all down. Stuff from prepping cistern tanks, which are 1,200 gallons, uh, plumbing it into the house, and then another video that's going to be separate for installing inside of a house. We will do two different types of sets on those. One where it's going to be mounted on the wall very visible very easy to access if there's a problem you can swap out those pumps or parts as quickly and as cleanly as possible the other one is one that's going to be mounted inside of our sink which our Theru team designed and made that which i actually really like because you can you can still access a lot of these parts it's very compact but it's very mapped nicely and it's clean so there will be like two different bits on those it's not just all going to be on one video and confuse a lot of people and then another one will be how to set up solar panels connecting it to your controller connecting it straight to your battery and then having it go all bits and pieces so it's not going to be overwhelming hopefully it's not overwhelming but that's what this channel will be doing uh there will be us uh, some, some other ones on the down the road where i'll do a little bit of story time uh the story times that will be mostly for like things that we've done in the past uh covid times what kind of work we were doing during covid times since we weren't able to go inside the house that will be something very cool to see other than that other people that we work alongside with i wish not to get mistaken with make a wish it's actually an acronym i w s h it's uh, international water sanitation and hygiene i'll make some separate videos to where we can see how they made their hand washing station those things are very very cool they're very big they're out of the sun and they're designed to have people wash their hands, we'll do separate videos like that. And also during those COVID times, we did things called the 275 tanks that Theroux actually figured out too. So a lot of these things Theroux made and then we just incorporated it with us. But hopefully you guys can stick with us, bear with my bad talking to a camera. This is my first time, uh, I'm normally the guy that's filming the stuff, not really want to talk on the camera. As we were just saying a while ago, the truck gets stuck all the time. And it is stuck in the deepest, sandiest sand that you can think of. Pull out vehicle, we had traction boards underneath and it's still stuck. Uh, it's getting yanked out little by little. 
as obvious. Everybody's staying their distance. Just watching the, the madness happen. Uh, Steven's little blooper reel to end this video. Now, I will catch you in the next one.